You've probably noticed that more and more people are saving water and money in Nevada by converting their turf lawns to xeriscaping. This is a great thing for homeowners to do. The purpose of this video is to show you how to do this without sacrificing your home value and your community necessary trees. Trees on your home's property have the benefit of reducing energy usage, providing shade and evaporative cooling, adding beauty, protecting wildlife, and sequestering carbon. In some instances, large trees may exceed a $20,000 value. At the same time, Nevada faces a serious long-term drought and the supply of water to our growing cities is diminishing. That's why the Southern Nevada Water Authority is incentivizing homeowners to convert their water-intensive grass lawns to a beautiful, lush desert landscape. When these conversions are not done properly, tree deaths can and have occurred. It is vital that you ensure your landscape contractor does your turf conversion the right way. Here are some general best practices and tips for how you can have a conversation with your contractor. First, understand where your tree roots are and make sure that they are protected. Tree roots tend to stay close to the surface. They fan out from the trunk of the tree like the canopy does, sometimes twice as wide, only flat and close to ground level, often within the first few feet. This is because of shallow irrigation, especially when trees are in turf grass. Removing turf the wrong way can actually remove the roots. We recommend against using heavy machinery or turf cutters. Instead, the grass should be treated with an herbicide or covered with cardboard mulch to kill the grass and then be removed carefully by hand. To avoid compacting the soil and damaging the roots, it's recommended your contractor put up barriers around the trunk of the tree to protect it. Then you'll want to follow the principle of watering the tree like it's used to being watered. That means it will likely need to be near the surface with drip irrigation. Make sure that at least 70% of the root zone is irrigated and being watered. Add compost to boost soil nutrients around the tree and then cover the area with a mulch to protect the soil. Sit down with your contractor and review the plans. Make sure they are covering all the best practices and you understand how the trees on your property will be treated. If you would like to learn more about the specifics of the process the contractor should follow, you can watch our video created for contractors in the link below or on our website. As Nevada works to adjust to drought conditions and urban water use, it is vital for our communities to work together to keep our trees alive and well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.